Shortcuts allow users to decrease the time it takes to accomplish a task. Instead of navigating the menu, keyboard shortcuts allow you to execute with only a few clicks of the keyboard, built-in office commands, as well as custom commands you build into your COM add-ins. In this video, I will show you how to add keyboard shortcut commands to a COM add-in that supports both Word and Excel. So I have Visual Studio 2010 already open and I have the new project dialog opened and I've gone to the other projects, other project types node and the extensibility node and I will select an ADX COM add-in and I've already named it keyboard shortcut and I'm going to go ahead and say OK to, to uh, initiate the new project wizard. And I'm going to use Visual Basic as my project language and then uh, I'm going to leave my interopt assemblies option to support Office 2000 and above and I'll click next and for this add-in I want to demonstrate the keyboard shortcut features for Word and Excel only although the keyboard shortcuts support all Office applications and I'll click next I'll leave the strong name key to generate a new one and, and click finish to create the project in Visual Studio Once the project's created, Visual Studio automatically opens up for us the Add-in module, which is our main class or our main Add-in Express class for our COM add-in. And this is where we begin to add objects that we want to respond to. And in this case, what we want to do is look up here at the top. There's a menu, and we're going to select the ADX keyboard shortcut. Also, uh, if these are too small, you can always right-click on the toolbar and choose Show Large Icons and here I will go ahead and click ADX keyboard shortcut to add that to the add-in module. With the shortcut added, uh, now I just want to make sure, one, I'm going to unselect it and just click anywhere in the add-in module so that over here in the properties window we can look for the handle shortcuts property and ensure that it is set to true. And, and when it's set to true what this does, it allows it allows the com add-in to um, handle shortcuts or respond to shortcuts and, and to be on the lookout for them. Now I'll go ahead and select the ADX keyboard shortcut 1 and I'm going to change its name to control underscore L. And then next I'll go to the shortcut text property and I'll hit this drop down and we can see that we have all kinds of options, uh, key, keyboard or keystroke combinations here that we can choose from. And what I want to select is control. I went ahead and did control E just because I can also you can also type this. So I just wanted to demo that for you as well. You know from control E. But since I want control L is what I named it, I'm going to choose control L and leave it that way. And also too by default, even though I specified Word and Excel as the targets for my add-in, all of the others are automatically supported. It doesn't matter since uh, it's not they wouldn't load with this add-in, but I'm going to go ahead and unselect them anyways. So now at this point, my keyboard shortcut is set up. I could, and it's going to respond to the shortcut text, but also I can add more than one. And in this case, I will I'll change this one's name to Control Shift B. And for the shortcut text come down here to control shift I'll keep scrolling until I find control shift B and once again I'll leave only Excel and Word enabled as my supported apps so now I have two keystrokes control L and control shift B and what's left is now I maybe want to respond to them so I'll click over here to the events for control shift B and we will do a message box give myself a little more room we're going to respond to the sender and the sender parameter is an ADX keyboard shortcut type so I will call add in the add in express assemblies MSO 
and then grab the ADX keyboard shortcut type and then we want to display the shortcut text alright I'm gonna grab I'm gonna copy and paste this so I'll say copy and now let's go back to the module and we'll do the same thing for control L and I will just double click in the action property or event and it'll stub it out for me and I am just simply going to uh, paste it here so now both of these events are gonna they're gonna do the same thing when I press them on my keyboard just display the message box and tell me what keystroke I pressed or what key combination I pressed as if I didn't know but still at least you can see how you can set them up trap them and then respond to them so let's build the solution and then we'll register it on on my system and then we'll do just a quick little demo inside of both Word and Excel just so you can see that these keyboard shortcuts are supported across all office applications or at least these two but know that it also works with all of them so I'm going to register All right. now let's go ahead and open up we'll start with Excel and I'll just Right in here, you'll see me do a control L. And there we have it. You press control L. And then we'll do a control shift B. And we get the exact same thing. So we know that they're working in Excel. I'll close Excel. And now let's go to Word. Okay, let's do the same thing. Control L. There we go. And control shift B. All right, very good. So I'll close these and we'll go back to Visual Studio where I want to give you a nice tip about uh, task panes and keystrokes in Excel. So let's move back to the add in module and we'll start by adding a task pane. We'll do add new and we will move to add an express Excel and I want to add an ADX Excel task pane to my project and we will just leave it with the default name and I'll say add and what I receive here is just an alert that says for this task pane to work that I have to add the Excel task manager to the add-in module and to set it up as described in the product documentation uh, lucky for you we have this video and you get to see it in action right now so I will say okay to discard this alert and we'll move back to the design view of the add-in module and what it's saying is that I, I just need to add I'm gonna right click and say add Excel task panes manager and in here we, we click it and we see down below the designer and I can add a new task pane a collection see here task pane collection item and if we're looking in our properties we can see uh, really the main thing that I want to do is this task pane class name and I'm gonna select my keyboard shortcut ADX Excel task pane 1 so there we go the other way to do this is to select the ADX Excel task panes manager 1 and uh, hit the ellipsis key in the items property and that will open up this ADX task panes collection editor is probably a little more user friendly uh, but I wanted to show you both ways that you could do this and and we can set all the other properties in this case I didn't set the position so let's go ahead and set the position over to the right hand side of the Excel window and I want to also do show always show the Excel or excuse me always show the task pane header I'll say okay I have the properties I want i will say okay now let's move back over to the Excel task pane 1 and we're gonna do a little design nothing major I want to add a text box and then we'll add a group box and I'm gonna add two radio buttons radio 1 and radio 2 and I'm gonna name this group box or change its text to 
uh, keyboard priority make this a little bigger and we'll change this radio button to say Excel and we'll change its name to RB Excel and we'll change this one's name to RB Task Pane and give it a text property of Task Pane. All right. Save it. So this Task Pane is designed to show off an event known as the ADX Key Filter Event, which is an, an event that's required if you need to handle a keyboard shortcut that is the same as Excel's but you want that keyboard shortcut to be handled by the task pane. And so in this case, I've set this up to where I can specify really, do I want the task pane to handle the keyboard shortcut or do I, or do I want to pass it through to Excel and let Excel handle it? And I've got the, te the, the uh, text box here just to, so if I want to insert text, we can do that. And so what I want to demonstrate is the keyboard shortcut of Control V. To demonstrate, let me just click back on the ADX task pane, ADX Excel task pane, and we'll go to the events, and I will scroll up to the ADX key filter event, and I'm just going to double click to create the event, stub, and I'll hide my toolbox, and I'll move this over as well. And what I want to do with ADX key filter, actually I'll go ahead and just minimize them all the way, is I am going to write just a little bit of code and so we'll create an Excel object in fact this is needs to say Excel and let's just go back Excel dot application and then I will assign the actual object to it by calling me Excel app OBJ for object and then I want to grab control or check the value of I should say of the E parameter which if we're looking at at the E parameter we see that it is an add in express dot XL it's an ADX key filter event arguments and I can say if E dot control is true which is just saying is the control key has it been pressed and e dot key code equals windows forms keys v then we want to take a little bit of action here and what we'll do is we're going to check the status of the Excel radio button which is named rbxl and we'll check it's check status. If it's true, if it's been selected, then what we want to do is say uh, for the action of the E argument or the ADX key filter event argument, we want to set its action property to send to host application. And what this will do is send that keystroke to straight to Excel and let Excel handle it according to its default feature. So I'll tab and do that now let's do the else otherwise if they don't if it's the task pane that has been enabled otherwise not the Excel radio button then what we want to do is set the action equal to send to task pane and let the task pane have the focus of, of the keystroke alright so let's build and demo and take a look and see this code in action alright build is successful now I will debug it or start the debugger which will open up Excel 2010 and once we're in here I'm just going to do a little bit of sample text in the C5 columns so this is sample text and then I will navigate back to that cell and I will just do a copy from the ribbon and then over I'll select well first off I'll just select a different cell say F9 and then I'm going to come over to the Excel task pane and I'll make the text box the focus and I'll select Excel as my keyboard priority and now what I'll do is 
go into the task pane and select the text box. And now that the task pane has the focus, um, we have the question of whether or not the keyboard combination of control V of what to do with it. And since I've selected Excel as my priority, we'll, this will send it to Excel, control V, and, and we see an F9 where the text paste into the cell and if I hit the tab key we'll see that the focus is indeed in Excel and I can tab around and move about using the keyboard as I would expect having left the task pane. But now if I go and select task pane as my keyboard priority and do this again, do control V and start tabbing around you see that I am moving within the task pane and have kept the, the focus within the task pane. And that's the key point of the ADX key filter event is the ability to determine who receives the focus and maintains focus after the keystroke occurs. So I'll we'll close this. And we'll turn back over here to our add in module. So in this demo, I have explained how to add custom keystroke combinations or custom keyboard combinations and then how to respond to them in your code. I'll also have explained the ADX key filter event that's available to you when using Excel task panes inside of ADX Calm add-ins. And as you can see, they're quite easy to set up and they're pretty powerful too and, and elegant in the sense of the, the finer points of staying within your Excel task pane and keeping the focus there or passing the keystroke to Excel to, so that it can handle it uh, using its default features. So there's a lot of flexibility here and uh, if you have questions or want to know more there are great resources on the Add in Express website plus I've added a couple of links to relevant articles to the introduction to this video on the blog.